Good job, Dad. Frank. Good job. Do you know where the pedestrian is? Hey, what? liquor store by now. Great. Have you seen Dr. Bauer? Sorry. Dr. Davis, Excuse me, have you seen Dr. Dr. Bauer? I know, I know the code number from my DNA sample and matches the number on this lab report. I am the father of one of these twins. Mm -hmm. has her own file here at the hospital, so obviously she's a real person. Now, what is going on? But that's what you want to ask me? I mean, is Fern a real person? Blake, what do you think I'm talking about? Nothing. The file. Fern the plant. Blake, something is going on here, and before we leave, I'm going to find out what it is. Oh, Meg here, 
every day you teach us not to take anything for granted. And every day she shows us how to live in every single moment. And she is proof that miracles do happen. <laughs> Custody battle the two of you had. Yeah. We did. Yes, we did. Kids really seem to love Buzz, too. Yeah, he's very good with them. Where's Danny? Yeah. Danny. I needed some air. I was tired. Looking at the moon. Oh, I wish you had told me that you were coming out here. You're pretty conked out, Philip. After what I put you through, I thought you deserved the rest. Oh. Don't worry. I didn't go anywhere. If you want to fill the hood of your car, you can. It's still cold. You know, I think I've uh, broken the back of this withdrawal. I think the drugs and alcohol are just about out of my system. Hey, that's great. Hey. All right. So what next? The hard part. Peter, look what I got for you. It's a, an interplanetary space ranger. I got it from the most fabulous toy store in the whole world, just for you. And, and it comes with a, a light flashing wrist communicator and a laser gun. You want to put it on? No. Well... Then I'm sure that you'll be able to get your money back on that. I'm sure it was very expensive, but we already made his costume, see? You made this by yourself? Yeah, it was in Mars. Hey, Petey, in that outfit, you look just like your daddy. Ah, uh, give me a hand. Put it here, partner. She's uh. a wicked stepmother. Uh. Oh, Mike, you're sorry? Oh, honey, it's okay. Mommy's right here. You got it. I mean, Fern... Fern is a real person. Annie never made her up. So why didn't you tell me that in the first place? Because I... I didn't know until last night. I mean, when... when Abby brought over the file... I mean, that's why Rick blew a gasket. He got so upset. He couldn't believe that Annie sunk so low as to... use a real person from the hospital to score more drugs. Yes, I can see that Rick would be very upset at that. Joanne Fern. <laughs> All right, then. <clears throat> why don't you explain to me why you and Rick just ran off at your mother's house the other night? I went to see Annie. You did what? Annie was very much alone after the intervention. Ross, I'm sorry. I, I, I should have said something to you, but you would have said no. Of course I would have said no, honey. You are eight months pregnant. You couldn't get any more pregnant. Yes, but Annie cannot trust or talk to anybody else but me. I really felt like I had to. I thought you told me that you were going to steer clear of Annie and of Rick, and you were going to avoid any unnecessary stress. I know, I know, but I felt like I had no other choice, Ross. You know what your problem is? Your priorities are just a little mixed up. Are you Mrs. Marler? Yes. yes. Hi. The doctor said told me to tell you she's going to be a little while longer, but I do have some forms for you to sign. Okay. Honey, I'll be right back. Okay. I thought you were still in jail. Well, Fletcher, Fletcher bailed me out. You're lucky to have such good friends. I know. Now, Vivian, that's, uh, that's not what I came to talk to you about. Huh? Now, keep the page on the page, please. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, Julie called me today. She did. Yeah. What did she say? Well, she said that uh, it's going to be a while before she gets over what happened, but that she's uh, trying hard to put it behind her, and that she's taking a positive view. I'm so glad. Oh, well. Did you know that last week was her birthday? <laughs> not until she told me. Philip, you know, it's kind of strange not knowing my own daughter's birthday. 
I sent her a little something by David, uh, but uh, she hasn't called. Don't give up on me someday. Look at her being like that. Just thought she might want to know how was getting along. I gotta, I gotta go. Wait. Hey, what happened? Abby, I told you, Blake and I are worried about Annie. We just want to help her. Are you my friend? Yes. Well, you have got to stop hiding from me. Friends share things with each other. If I can't go to you when I need comfort, or if you can't come to me when you need something, when you're troubled, I, we just don't mean as much to each other as I thought we did. You have got to be honest with me, Rick. You have to trust me. Abby, you mean so much to me. Okay, then tell me why you left with Blake and why Ross is so upset about this Fern La Plant fire. I can explain what happened last night. We now join our regularly scheduled program, already in progress. I'm spending too much time on Annie's problems when I'm so close to delivering my baby. Well, he's a father. That's what fathers do, right? Right, right. Um, it's just that, um, Annie needs our help because she doesn't have many close friends. And, you know, Rick and Annie, they go way back. Well, yes, I know that Annie was married to Rick. You don't have to, you know, that, um, beat around the bush, right? I know. I know. You know, Abby, you are so accepting because it has to be so different from how you were raised in Goshen. I I'm sure that the men and women are expected to act a certain way and it's not like people get divorced or have affairs with people Blake. and we're not <coughs> friends after. We're not do those things. Blake, if you're finished making whatever point you're trying to make, Abby and I have a, sh have a show to put on for some kids. Come on, Abby. Bye. All right, kids, grab a seat. Oh! oh. Uh, Rick Bauer. <laughs> Shadow show is about to unfold before your very eyes. You're about to experience the most unspectacular, <laughs> underwhelming shadow show you have ever seen. Let's see if we can't get one of these babies out of here, huh? Cool down. When I was um, looking around, I saw one of those um, containers of long-lasting milk. You know, I never really tried it, but I put it in the fridge just before I went out. Here. Hey, wh wh wouldn't you Sorry. Mean, um, oh, hold on, hold on. I want to ask you something. Oh, give me this. Here, why don't you try this? What? You go, 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 go. Uh. Too hot. Too hot. No, it's okay. It's okay. Just, just, it's all right. Just we'll, we'll let it cool down for a second. It's all right. I want to ask you, what, what did you mean when you said that the hardest part was still to come? I got a disease, Philip. My mind works overtime to try to convince me that I deserve a pill, that I need a drink, that I can handle it, and no one else is going to know that the world is full of jerks who just don't understand me. That's why I do it. I mean, every excuse in the book. But, um, you still feel that way, even even after everything that he's done to you? You feel yeah. that way? It's a day-to-day, today -to -day struggle, and I have to constantly teach myself to make the right choice and not what comes easy. It's not easy to pass the medicine cabinet and not peek in to see if there's some pill that might help. Can you do it? Yes. I think I can now. I'm going to put all that negative energy into something more positive. I am going to be the perfect wife to Josh. Well, Amy, wait a minute. I thought recovery is supposed to be about you. <laughs> Right? You know, I've already admitted that I'm powerless over drugs and booze. I've done that, okay? But now I need to concentrate on healing the rest of my life. 
You, you're talking about John. Josh, exactly. And I'm going to be no. the best wife that I can possibly be to that no. man, and I'm not going to let him down no, ever but, again. No, I'll, but the focus is supposed to be on you, though, not on anybody else. Philip, Josh is my husband. It's all part of the same thing. Come on, come on, eat up, eat up. Well, I no, want to go home and start the rest of my wait, life. Wait, hang on a second. I, I'm happy that, that you feel good and that you're positive. And, and what you're telling me sounds good. It is. No, it is. It's very good. No, but Andy, you're, you're making it sound like it's all cut and dry. Like, you know, boom, you, you're, you woke up, you feel good, it's done. Now, my, my understanding of recovery is that it, it takes a long time and it's a long road. Well, it depends on who you are. And how quickly you discover that what you are doing is wrong. Philip, what are you trying to say here, really? I don't know, Annie. I, it's something just doesn't seem right about this. How do I know that you're not angling for another way to get your pills? and four legs. <laughs> you were two people? That's right, and I got twice as much candy that way. What do you think about that, huh? I remember when Using you and Mama <laughs> were Lucy and Ricky from TV. Oh, I was a yeah. <laughs> you know, I can't believe you remember that because you were only about three years old. <laughs> you had a big orange wig. <laughs> Did you forget that? I know, but I think it was your babaloo that won us first prize. Oh, no, party. it wasn't my babaloo. <laughs> It was your Lucille Ball no, no, wine. No, no, no. Oh, you mean the Reggie? That's all right. I that. It's much better with a wig on. It's good that we have plastic cups. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have any memories of Mom and Daddy. Well, you're going to have plenty of memories tonight. I'm going to make sure of that goes. Uh, hey, hold that. I think this is going to be a great one. Oh, you're going to like oh, this special yeah. 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 Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, here, let's do one of them. All of it. So can we see if we can do this one? See this yellow button? Can you push that, Mama? All right, here we go. Perfect. Picture perfect. Mommy dressed you up really cute. Yes. Do you want to see it? Daddy? Yes, sweetie, what's up? What's wrong with that baby? She looks different. So sweetie. Frank, it's all right. Marina, don't feel bad. Excuse, just excuse me. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be back. Fred, wait up. Wait up. Oh, I know, I know, I know. It was just an innocent remark by an innocent child. I don't know why I'm so sensitive. Just... just hurt me. I know. Me. I mean, for the rest of her life. Meg is going to hear this, and when anybody notices the shape of her head, the shape of her eyes, and makes some careless comment, it's going to hurt like hell. Can you imagine? Red, do you remember what you told me that day we had the uh, <laughs> discussion when I was fighting the idea about putting Meg in a playgroup, and you told me that we cannot tuck Meg safely away forever because it wouldn't be fair to her or to anyone? else who may learn her lesson of human hope. Let me have If our precious baby here can teach one person to look inside her heart and see that light of hope burning, then she has done her job, and so have we. You are so good and so right. Well, this time, maybe. <laughs> I love you. I don't know why. Cut through there. Miss Molly? Oh, God. Oh. Marina, so sorry about what she said. She feels awful that she hurt oh, you. Oh, no. She's she just didn't a do kid. anything wrong. Yeah. If anyone behaved badly, I did. Let me talk to her. Mm -hmm. Isn't it pretty? Come on. Uh, you know what? You're, uh... Daddy's gonna go get some pretzels, okay? I'm sorry I said 
said something mean. Oh, no. It wasn't mean. I know you didn't mean it. You just wanted to know why Meg is different. You said what was on your mind. That's a very good thing. And, and the fact is that she is different. She's, she's different from other little babies. And even when she gets older, she might not be able to do everything that other boys and girls can do. But different doesn't have to mean bad. Different can mean different. <laughs> Special. She's really very sweet. And she likes big girls a lot. She would love to spend time with you. Would you like to? Yes. I can show my dove. Would that be okay? That would be fantastic. <laughs> That's great. I knew you would understand. Well, then, I'm sure that you'll be able to get a refund on that very expensive costume that you got him. You know, you really don't have to try so hard with him. Kids can see right through that. I'm not trying to compete with you for Peter's affection. You know, like the way you're always trying to compete with me for hearts. Oh, I'm surprised that you see me as competition. I mean, after all, you guys are practically living together. Yeah, that's right, we are. Isn't it a little weird for you, though, to have Roger out here? I mean, <laughs> you're still married to your boyfriend's father. Remember what I said, pal. No playing by the pond when you're by yourself. Yeah, you know what Daddy means by that, right, sweetie? Yeah, I, I took him around the him. farm and I showed him. Oh, okay, good. And the other place you can't go is the grain silo. It's too dangerous for little boys. Why don't you go, uh... Why don't you go get some cider? Yeah, here, I already poured you some special ghost coffee. Your dad was saying that he's thinking about leaving town soon. It doesn't seem to me like he's ready to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna keep him here until he's well, mm. however long that takes me. Hey, look what the great pumpkin brought for you. <laughs> look at all this here. You want this? Oh, he doesn't like candy corn. Oh. Well, there's plenty of other stuff in here, you know, for later. Yeah, come on. Okay. Let's look through this stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what we can do when the other, if your other kids come by, we can give it to them. Mm -hmm. It's a trick-or-treat, right? Pumpkin, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you want? Up! Up they went under the sky! <laughs> and before they left, they looked out at all the trick-or-treaters everywhere. What'd they say? I um, wanted to say how sorry. What are your plans? Well, I'm not leaving Springfield, if that's what you mean. I lost a lot this year, Vivian. I lost you, my self-respect. Most importantly, my son. Marcus still isn't talking to you. He's disgusted with me. <laughs> Can't say I blame him. I let him down his whole life. He finally gave me a chance, and I let him down even more. <laughs> That's why I've got to stick around. I've got to prove that I'm worth something. Not to the press, not to the public. Not even to myself. I've got to prove it to my son. Vivian, are you about ready to go? Hello, Charles. Griffin, how are you feeling? Oh, much better, thank you. Griffin stopped by to tell me that Jilly had called. Yeah, she told me when she uh, called this morning. I was, I was going to tell you. Oh, shall we go then? Charles, would you give me a moment with Griffin, please? I'll see if Rick needs any help. So, uh, you and Charles back together? Not yet. I hurt him very deeply, but we've shared a lot. We're trying to see if we can build something new from all the, the good that we shared. We'll see. Well, I wish you both luck. Thank you. And I hope Marcus comes around and realizes that you love him. You deserve to have your love returned. Bye. You are so wonderful, the kids. What are you doing? 
see the look in her eyes, Rick? Are you really? Do, are, do you want to destroy that? Hey, Blake, we have been through this, haven't we? No, but you haven't told me what you decided to do. Are you going to wreck my marriage? And any chance that you have of, with a relationship no, with Abby? Not if I can help it. Rick, if you tell Ross the truth, that's what will happen. Oh, come on, she has. Abby has a hard enough time with the fact that you were married to Annie once. She says she's cool about it, but you saw Blake, she Blake, she is much more sophisticated than you give her oh, credit. Oh, give me a break. She won't even be able to look at you if she finds out that you made one of these babies inside Keep me. Keep it one down. Night. Uh, Dr. Sedwick is still tied up. Oh, that's too bad. You didn't get the test results, did you? No, oh. no. Uh, I mean, th that's what I was talking to Rick about. I mean, you know me, nervous Nellie. I'm always needing every possible no. outcome. So we were discussing that, the test I just took. Right, Blake, Blake just wanted to know what it could mean. Yeah, because that's a bad thing. If, if uh, one baby's getting more nutrition well, than the is. other, that well, can't be good. actually, discordant growth can be a serious problem. But look, there's no reason to worry about anything until the test results come back. All right, the wise doctor says not to worry, all right? Uh, if Margaret comes looking for us, we'll be in the cafeteria, all right? Okay, well, come on. Hey, I, you know, I, I just don't know anything about addiction. I don't know what it, what it's supposed to look like when the worst is over. It's over. Well, that's what you're telling me. But I've, I've said it before, right? Yeah, more than once. Okay, all right, I understand. I wouldn't, um... I wouldn't have faith in me either if I heard all the lies that came out of my mouth. Annie, wait a minute. I'm not saying that you're lying. I'm just telling you that I, I have nothing to base this on. I, I don't know... I have no way of knowing when you're ready to go home. Mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you that I don't feel like crawling out of my skin anymore. That's a sign that the physical craving has passed. Yeah. And, uh... Look at me. I'm not nervous. I'm not jittery. I'm not sweating. Mm -hmm. I just stuff a boiling muffin down my throat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm a little wired still. A little bit. But I want to show you something. Look how steady I am. Oh, no, hey. I haven't been able to do that in a long time. Physically, there's no question. You are much better. <sighs> okay. And besides, you cannot stop me from taking pills for the rest of your life. I have to do that. Well, I know that. I just, uh... I don't know. I can't help but feel like I have something invested in how this turns out. I cannot thank you enough for everything that you did for me. Do you know that? Yeah. Thank me. I'm glad that I could help. You weren't so glad when I gave you that bump on your head when I pushed you down. Okay. It was down to a manageable lump. <laughs> <laughs> and I am very, very sorry about that crack that I said about you and your father. Oh, you mean after you called me a self-righteous jerk? When you said it was... That's right. When you said it was good that he had dumped me five years ago? I hope that, uh, you'll be able to forget that. So, it wasn't you talking, I know that. I did everything I could to push you away. But you wouldn't go. Tough to get rid of me. But you're standing right here, you know, right now. That says a lot. I have learned what it means to have a true friend. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to break up this love fest. Do you have to go? Yes, I'm sorry. Oh. It is time. I have to get Meg to bed. Any... Can I come visit Meg sometime? Oh, I hope you do. Anytime. Yes, of course. Okay, it'll be fun. Yeah. Can she borrow one of the house sure. for now? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think she wanted it. Hi. I'm going to uh, take the kids back to my house for a little bit, uh, get them cleaned up, maybe get them some clothes. Okay, well, I'll get their beds ready here. Are you sure this is okay? Well, of course. Absolutely. I, I just, Absolutely. I, I just don't know how long it's going to be. I mean, in a way, I don't even know what I'm asking here, you know? Oh, we'll work it out as it goes. I mean, don't worry about that. Worry about, worry about Annie. Okay, you guys all set? I thought we were staying here until Annie gets better. Yeah, you are. We're just going to head on back to the house, get you uh, some clothes, maybe an overnight bag. Well, you know, actually, I don't think they, they need an overnight bag. They're going to need more than that. They're going to need school clothes, play clothes, School books. And my dinosaurs. And your dinosaurs. And your dinosaurs, right. I can do that. I can do that. 
Okay, well, then we'll, uh, we'll just, uh, you go back and, and get their things ready, and then they'll bring you, bring you right back here. Mama, can you come with us and help Daddy pack? <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a wait a minute, it's got just a little caught. Oh <laughs> it's all right. Okay, Andy. It's okay. It's okay. I just hurt my side in that accident I told you about. Aren't you due for another pain pill? Uh, I guess so. These are empty. Oh, I was supposed to fill that prescription. I'll go to the pharmacy. No. No, 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 no. I don't want to spoil Halloween. No, no it's too late, Hart. Don't, don't go. Oh, I'm sorry, Roger. You're just going to have to wait. It's uh, fine. Wait, but there's that all night one over by Clayton that, that'll still be Good. Can you give me directions? Sure. Um, well, just head into Clayton and then you make a left before you get there. Before where? Um, well, there's a big tree and a shack and two lights. Maybe Three, a what? street name, Bridget, a route number or something? Oh, I, I guess this is more difficult than no, I thought. You know what? Don't go. You're never going to be able to find it. Forget it. I can go. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Do you have some ice or a pitchfork oh, or something? I can please. Take a ton of you know what? Get about it. I can wait till morning. We'll all go. We'll all go and Bridget oh, can navigate. No, no. What about Halloween? Oh, I'm sorry, oh. pal. We're going to have to get some medicine for Grandpa. No, you know oh. what? I'll... I'll let me stay here with Peter and, and, and you, you you guys go and I and I'll take him out. Oh. Could you okay. excuse us for just one second? What? Come here, Peanut. I don't want you alone with my father. Oh, come on, he's not gonna pull anything with his grandson here. Besides, I think I'm gonna be a lot safer here with Roger than you're gonna be with Bridget. That's very funny. Yeah. Just don't provoke him by like, you know, jabbing him in the ribs. No. I won't, I promise. Hey, buddy, you know what? Your sister's going to take you trick-or-treating, okay? Wow. We'll be back as soon as we can. Oh, thank you, son, for going to all this trouble. It's okay. It's okay. I want to. That's great. Uh, I'm so glad you guys are going to have some time together. Come yeah. here, Give me a kiss. Hello. Mm -hmm. We'll see you in a little Happy bit, okay? Bye. 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 Let me look at you. <gasps> oh, you look so good. You look perfect. You look perfect except for one thing. You know what? What? You know what you need? What? A mustache and sideburns. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm gonna draw it right on you, Kuna. I sure wish I could come trick-or-treating with you guys. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have so much fun. Yeah, well, you'll be... All oh, right, by yourself here, right? I mean, as if I didn't know. And nothing could make me happier than to know that I haven't spoiled Halloween for my grandson. Hey. Oh, just have so much fun, yes. Petey, and bring back lots of treats for Grandpa, okay? Well, you know what to say when we ring the doorbell, right? <laughs> You're all done. Look. Yeah. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, boy. Let's get out of here. You look like a real cowboy. Bye. Don't Have forget to say, trick or treat! <laughs> Well, Shane, sweetie, why don't you let Daddy go get your things, then he'll bring you right back here. Shane's right. Dad's not really all that good packing for us. He'll, he always forgets the best things. <sighs> Buzz? Oh, please, absolutely. I don't need more dinosaurs around here so <laughs> for me to talk to. Okay, then. Well, I'll, I'll go with Josh to the house, and then I'll bring the kids back with me. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's uh, get on out of here. Here. All right, gang. Hey. Hey. Right. I'll see you. Okay. All right, Josh. Let's go. Hey. Hey. Goodbye. Bye. 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 B
I don't have all the answers right now, Philip. But I know that I am ready to get my husband and my children back. The first thing I'm going to do when I see Josh is ask him to forgive me and tell him I want to start all over. Sounds like a plan. It is a plan. It's a very good plan. It's a plan for the rest of my life. So hop to it, Spalding. Get your car keys. I'm ready to go home. idea what Halloween was. No. And everywhere I looked, there were frightening, terrible people. And I ran around and I hid in the operating room till you found me. Abby, you were terrified. I was. And you helped me. Won't you let me help you? You're right, Rose. From now on, I, I only concentrate on us and the babies. That's it. I never want to hear another word about files or fern the plant. Good. Okay. Fern the plant. Oh, Blake. Oh, thank heaven. You finally told Ross the truth. <laughs> 